My husband and I, uh, we've been married now for eight years. We always wanted kids. We waited um, a couple of years because we wanted to really experience and enjoy uh, our life together. I had a normal, was, was having a normal pregnancy up until uh, 20 weeks when we had the anatomy scan. That's when they told us that he had um, multiple heart defects. And I, I almost feel like I was stunned, like um, the world stood still. Caden has, uh, his, his full diagnosis is uh, heterotaxy. Um, so he has double-sidedness, double left-sidedness double left within his body, which primarily affected his heart. He has a couple VSDs as well. So we had a couple things that we kind of had to navigate through. When he was born, he was breathing, which was, which was amazing. And I even was allowed to hold him for a couple of minutes uh, before they had taken him away. That was one of, I guess, one of my biggest fears, um, that here I am having my first child and you know nothing in my mind was going to be normal. Anne is the first person who I spoke to after Kaden was diagnosed. She basically said to me, um, you do not need to worry about anything that you are doing from here on out because I've got it covered. My role is really to be the connection or the hub between all the different people that are involved in a baby's care and a mother's care during her pregnancy. Making sure everyone understood exactly the anatomy as we saw it prenatally and how we would best care for that baby so there were no surprises. I, I feel like my emotions were so heightened because there were so many things going on in my life, not just what was going on with Caden. It was like everything was colliding. They were genuinely, genuinely concerned and interested in us as, as a family, as people. I think it's important to know what else do people have going on in their lives? I mean, to me, these families are amazing what they go through and that they put their trust in us and me to get them through it. Dr. Meyer said, okay, we're gonna do surgery, I think it was on a Monday, and the date of that was uh, February 14th, which was Valentine's Day, and it was also my birthday. Everybody was so confident in their skills and what was going to take place that I just really, you know, I put it in the hands of God and said, he's supposed to be here. His oxygen was in the high 90s. That was something that I had not seen on a monitor ever in his entire life. I looked at that screen and I was like, that is what we have wanted to see this entire time. It's the whole reason that I got this tattooed on me. Um, this is the his stats from right after surgery. He would have no idea that anything happened to him, that he went through life life-saving surgery. You would have no idea. He's just wild. And that's how a two and a half year old should be. It's how he should be. And I am so very thankful for that. I have to celebrate every single thing that he does and can do because he has Defied all odds.